Hello everyone, welcome back to another amazing video. And today I'll be telling you about one plugin that you need if you're just trying to learn um, retouching or if you are into weddings and portraits, delicious as the name implies. It's one plugin that I have used for some years now and I'm not actually promoting them so you can go and buy them. I'm just telling you that this plugin is amazing for beginners and people that want to take their touching to the next level. From um, basic to advanced retouching, Glacier Skin is a very good plugin you need to have for Photoshop. Glacier Skin is uh, around 49 euros, which is approximately $55. It's not really that expensive, but for what it gives to you, it's amazing I to save a lot of time. So today I'll be showing you how I use Glacier Skin for my wedding portraits and how it can save you a lot of time. So the first thing you do is when you come to this place over here, and you click on Glacier Skin version 4, it's going to load and validate your license. Now, Glacier Skin offers you 7 days trial and you can try it out. Remember, I'm not promoting them, I'm just telling you that this plugin is amazing and it can help you save time as a beginner or advanced editor or retoucher. So, make sure that this circle is on the face and you click enter. It's going to load. Now, you see this mask over here? You click, make sure you are here, the DAX for the mask. So you just go ahead and just paint on the skin quickly, just paint on the skin. I'm using the mark. If I press command down and click on this mask, it's going to show me areas that I didn't um, touch and areas that I touched. So if I see some areas I didn't really touch it, I'll just go ahead and redo it. Command D to deselect. I'll just make sure I paint on those areas that I don't have it there. And the good about the short skin is that you can actually just work on areas you want it to affect and leave it from the areas you don't want it to affect. Okay. So let me show you. So this is the um, before this after before after as you can see just like give it a quick um, skin smoothing before after wash the face before after now this is really easy to do and it's going to help you save a lot of time the Lucas smoothener here as you can see this place here you have to just select where you want so let's say maybe I want to just um, smoothen some place I'll just select like this then I'll click on it it's going to load so I'm going to set my texture radius, small thing, add intensity. So let me see. Yes, it's okay. Just what? It just adds some extra smoothing. As you can see here, the the skin before, after. For me, most times I I do use just the visual skin here and the look at smoothing. So we smoothing once in a while. Then I use um here I use the flat separation dodge and bond. So let me show you what it can do with this place here. Let's say under the eye, the eye bags area. I'll just come click, take it, come to the look at smoothing. I can so it has to be seen. Now just watch over here. You can see it's like good. So this is before, after. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so that's what I use for my skin. Um, we touching for a quick one. You can just play with it and have fun. So this is before, this after, let me go close so you can see um, here. This is the before, this after. Let's use another image so you see how well it works. Come right here and here. I'll just quickly remove some areas I don't want to, like the um, blemishes I don't want to show. Just quickly remove it. Okay, quickly. Yeah, so now I'm going to apply the short skin, come here, the short skin version 4, load on the face, enter. It's loading. Great. Next, I zoom in, I just paint on the skin quickly. Now just look at this. 
just quickly. So before, after, now look at this cane. This is uh, before, this after. Now this is like so fast, just do it and leave quickly. And you can also do preservation just to make some areas. Let me show you what I used to do next. So I'm done with this. I can go to frame separation and just click on it. It's going to load. And just pick by texture. This is 10. I'm okay with 10. Apply. What I'll do next is I will go to my mixer brush. Okay. Then go. Um, just try and quickly just mix. So I'm not showing you what I do. Now, this is the before, this after. With just frequency separation and delicious skin. So let me show you what it looks like. This is before. Now, this is with delicious skin. Just watch the skin. This is with delicious skin. Without delicious skin. With delicious skin. Then this is with the mixer brush. As you can see, it's really amazing. So we went from this to this. Do a little bit of contour and highlight. Um, come to dodge and burn, press OK. Now, the good about this is that it actually gives you a um, visual aid. You can just click on it to know where you can um, darken or brighten. If you want to do micro dodge and burn. But right here, I'll do the global dodge and burn. Click on this, quickly go to mm, burn. Put this at two. Okay, zoom out. Um, just uh, give it a bit of contour quickly. This is the contour here, so I'll just work on it quickly. Here, share, just this bit of contour. Then highlight, go here, just do this. Yeah, so you can see now, just look at this. This is with Dodge and Bone. This is with Dodge. You can see it, that shine. Uh, this is the bond. You can see it giving that contour. And right here, if I show you the before, this is the before, this is the after. Massive difference. And the good thing about it is that you can actually come back here and just um, add a bit of uh, mixing. Because I'll just mix this area over here and go close, just um, mix a brush and just mix, just mix this area over here just quickly. Um, just like this, okay. Yeah, it is kind of okay. All right, so now if this place over here is a little bit dark, let me show you quick. Let me show you how it looks like this place. I mean, if this place here, let me just show you. Now watch this place here. If this place here, it is a little bit dark, you can actually just use um the bone and use the facial aids to help you out. So let me just delete it. Click on this now. Hit this area just go to the dodge because it's actually dark. So I'm going to brighten where it's dark. Just little bit of um, let's say one. The flow would be one because I want it to be subtle. That is it. I think I'm good. So this is the before, this is the after. Now look at this. This, this is it. So watch, this is the before, this is the after. Now I just use the initial skin for this image and it's good to go. The good thing about the initial skin is you also have liquify. You can just come here, copy magic, have um, liquify and the fight is actually very good. You want to adjust some quick pass for it. I'll just push this in a little bit. Just here, a little bit. Then maybe here, just here a little bit. It will be the cheek. Oh, perfect. Okay. 
Like, thank you. I think this is nice. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So, so the good thing about Logify is that you can actually go ahead and work on it some more because it turns it to like um, a smart object. So you can click on this and it loads. You can adjust. It's it's just it's just nice. You can see it, Logify. This is the, uh, before Logify, after Logify, before, after, before, after. Now, tell me why you would not want to purchase Leisure Skin. It's just affordable and it's fast. It, like you can just do some more. You can actually go ahead and work on um, do another dodge of bone again and work on the clothes, work on the um, the makeup, um, jewelries if you want to on the background. It's just amazing. So go ahead and try Leisure Skin. It's a trial version and it works for seven days. Go ahead, try it, play with it and i'm sure you'll be impressed for weddings and quick portraits this skin is your go-to plugin so thank you for watching and i hope you tried this skin for seven days and let me know what you think have a blessed day